looks like he's pretty happy. Our referee Jesper Steentoft with his finger on the bottom. Oh, long pause there. You can hear the bikes bouncing on the rev limiters and they hit the first turn and it's Henriksen that's got there. Argy Bargy coming out of turn two on the opening lap, but it's Henriksen that hits the front. Around the outside is Nagel. He's done well there. A little bit of wet on the inside. Water down on the track with Nag Nagel coming through there. v lads Nagel. And Bamber back in third place. But Henriksen out in front there, he's being pushed really hard there by Vilas Nagel in second place. Henriksen who had a really desperately disappointing round in Melilla in his own country where he would have been very disappointed with that. Bamba back in third place has tailed off now. There's a bit of Dreas coming on strong trying to force his way into third. Archie Bargy there through the last corner. And Henriksen, whoa! Oh, that's close. That is very close that indeed. So the graphic was wrong there. So Vlad's Nagel is now confirmed as the winner. Yeah, this has uh, got action written all over it, this one, Kelvin. Indeed it has. The start marshal just uh, making sure the boys are in the right spot. He moves away. Green light is on. Tapes are up. It's an even break. Tight to the first corner. Wall. Very tight indeed. How they all stayed up. I don't know. Look at this. Oh, Chris. Oh, fantastic. Panitsky's come charging and hit the front. Helston Braggs was up the inside. Round the outside is Gus. He's uh, managed to force his way into second place. I'll tell you what, I really don't know how they stayed up there. It was very tight indeed. Versus Gus is chasing with everything he's got. Riding the bike really, really hard, but he just cannot make any ground up. Zarpanitsky once again showing great speed. We saw this in Sweden, in Melilla. And uh, he is producing some stunning performances here. And he moves on to six points and joins Sebastian Shostak at the top of the table. I just sense that Przemski is in the box seat here. I fancy his chances. Yeah, he's got to be favourite from the inside gate. Indeed he has. So heat number 12 takes up now. We're underway. Przemski gets there. It's a good start from him. Around the outside, Leon Flint working hard, trying to get himself into second place and does so. That's a good effort from the man from the UK. He's through. Let's ride so far. Przemski steady out in front. Back in third place, we've got uh, Vlad's Nagel who's in trouble there, just running in a bit hot into turn number one, coming under pressure from Nikita Kowlins. But Przemski stamping his authority on heat number 12. This is good news. Failed to score first time. There's a couple of rides. He's going to pick up a maximum score, six points, and all of a sudden he's right back on track. The championship leader wins comfortably. Super ride from him, much uh, better ride from Leon Flint back in second place. These riders are going along well, they all, three of them won their last ride. Pajemski, Panitsky and Pedersen, winners last time out. Something's got to give here, that's for sure. Green lights on, tapes are up. We're roaring into the first corner, pajemski has gone wide, he's gone to the back, up the inside. That's tight, look at Pedersen coming round the outside. That was a really hectic first corner. Got to say, Dreyer's done well to hang on to second place there. There were four abreast there. Up the inside now, it's tight. Oh, Przemski giving certainly uh, Panitsky a good shot there going into turns one and two. Panitsky coming right back in it. The big two around the back here. Pedersen has turned his meeting around with a change of bike. He's firing away out in front. Look at him go. Yeah, he will move on to nine points. He'll be... Uh, Safe for a semi final spot, but uh, the well, it's a bit of a shock actually for me to see Pinsky and Pajemski at the back. Yeah, these two guys, Dre, doing a good job there. He came off the inside gate, he's just about hanging on to second place. Uh, uh, Bastian Pedersen has really he's checked out all oh, Pinsky oh. now on the inside. That's a lovely move, he should be able to get up the inside there. Yeah, that's a big move for him. Super star Pedersen's won comfortably, but that is some ride from Pinsky. He was in all sorts of trouble early doors, but Nazar Panitsky possibly with the ride of the night there to come through in his second place. Starting now, building up. Tense times now for these young riders, that's for sure. Heat number 15, green light comes on. Tapes are up, and we're away. Gate number two has worked there nicely for Bamba. Better stuff from him. Round the outside is Anderson. Anderson just having to wind to roll the throttle off there down the back straight because Bamba slammed the door shut. This is much better for 
Bartosz Bamba, he hits the front. Michael Anderson coming at him. He just can't find any extra traction. Moved out a couple of times, but Bamba out front just keeps getting the bike down straight. Michael Anderson now making a cutback. Is he going to get up the inside? He may well do. It's going to be tight. Super ride from Michael Anderson. That bike working really well, putting his arms out. Certainly looked very threatening for some time. He gets the better of Bamba. And Mikael Anderson on his second bike. That was a good move and a great ride. Anderson right back in it. Three points, very valuable points. Smashing ride. Bamba looked much better, but could not resist the charge from the Danish rider, Mikael Anderson. So the championship leader here, Viktor Prashemski, gate three, with some big hitters on the inside two gates. What a moment for him. This is the difference between being world champion at under 21 or not. You do believe it is that important right now. Here we go. Heat number 19. Big time pressure. Here we go. Big pause. Przemski drops the clutch and he's gone there. Wow, what a way to respond. Round the outside. Here comes Knudsen. He has done very little here this afternoon. He uh, comes into second place, but Przemski held it all together there beautifully. He's out in front, coming through in the second place now. This Hellstrom bangs up the inside of Knudsen, and out the back is Bamba. But for Przemski, this is just what he needed. Hellstrom bangs is giving chase. Oh, mistake there from Bangs has to turn the bike hard in the dirt. This is not going to be enough for Hellstrom bangs. Hellstrom bangs riding overtime in second place. Bamba disappointment for him. He's at the back. Tell you what, this is going to get very close indeed. Hellstrom bangs, winding it on. Here he comes up the inside. One last blast through the final corner. No doubt about that. Przemski's had to ride defensively. He hangs on. And I mean, he did just have to hang on. He had a little cute look over his left shoulder down the back straight. He could hear Hellstrom bangs coming at him. Poland have a rich history of success at this level. And they've got three riders through. They've got one representative here, that man there in the white helmet colour. They've got two and in semi-final number two. But uh, there's no doubt that Polstad and Panitsky on gates one and two will be tough customers. Here we go. Great looking heat, this one. Semi-final one takes up. Panitsky's made a nice start, but uh, got to say, Przemski's there as well. He's coming around the outside, but Panitsky's bikes work beautifully off that corner. And he hits the front down the back straight. Przemski now switching back to the inside. Polstad's back in third place with Hendrickson out the back. But this is good news for the man from the Ukraine. And Polstad's uh, winding it on. He's putting as much pressure as he possibly can on Przemski back in second place. Przemski's aware that he's there. No doubt about that. Looks like he's got it in hand man that really has got a nice comfortable lead is uh, this man, Nazar Panitsky, remember that name, he is absolutely roaring away here, he is dominating the race wins and the race times, and once again he's into the 63 second bracket, green lights about to come on, it's on now, tapes are up, we're underway, they hit the first turn and crash it, oh that was tight. Oh, that was a tough crash in the first corner. Yeah, Shostak's gone down hard. So, uh, Shostak, who has been that's terrific so far this evening, and uh, that's the last thing he needed in the first turn of the semi. So they're both on their feet now, but a uh, bitter disappointment for uh, Sebastian Shostak after such a great display in his first five rides tonight. He will take no further play, uh, part here this evening, and that is a big blow for him. Who's going to make it? Well, for me, it's, it's who's going to come second. I think Krasik on the inside gate, as long as he gets clear around the first turn, ought to pull clear. Green light is on, tapes are up, and we're underway. Pedersen's missed it. Mikael Anderson's there in second place, but Krasik, as you uh, referred to, he's hit the front. Terrific effort from him. He's away down the back straight. Anderson threw in the second place. Pedersen's got a big task now. Can he get the better of the youngster? Anderson, who's riding nicely in second place. Krabschik away out in second place. Once again, that bike of Anderson's got a lot of speed. It doesn't look very easy to ride, but by crikey, it's fast in a straight line. Lap to go. Krabschik out in front. He's done the business off the inside. And Mikel Anderson has turned his fortunes around. And some here. 
looking like he's going to come through. And they're through to the final. Kravchik and Anderson. Bastian Pedersen desperately disappointed. He misses out. Anderson will double his points. He only had seven coming into the semi-finals. He's going to pick up a minimum 14 here. How about that? Yeah, we've hardly mentioned him coming into this final, but, uh, but we've already seen so far this evening. His bike's working well. It's pulling hard. Yeah. He can just guess this one right off the start. Who knows? Here we go, then. The final in Riga. SGP2. Tapes are up. Away we go, and they're in their first turn, and it's Paninski. He gets there. Oh, drama there. Kravchik has bitten the dust in the first turn. They're roaring on. Will we see the red lights? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, fear. Fear for Kravchik there. It's all his own mistake. Do you? Is that your gut instinct there? Yeah, I believe so. But let's see. They have been... I wasn't sure. Right. We had that overhead view. Mm. And then you see the head on. It wasn't easy to see. But um, he sat up. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. But uh, did he get a nudge or did he go down of his own accord? That's what we're waiting to find out. Here we, Here we see it again. Yeah, rider in white, bike lifts, doesn't make a great start, he's behind. Uh, he's, he's, he's on his what? own, you know, it was close, Look yes. Look at the dirt deflector. Yeah, but I mean, at that point, I'm playing he's on his bike. Uh, yeah, I'm playing devil's advocate. But, but <laughs> I'm Referee just, could put all four back. He I hope could, so, I could. hope so, I hope he does. He has an excuse too. It definitely unsettles him, but he yeah. doesn't get off the bike straight away. He's trying to hang on to it, which you can understand. But the dirt deflector clips the front wheel there. And he's unsettled, legs back, he's all over the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he could he could have a reprieve there. The referee certainly has a decent excuse to put a full four back in. So we wait for the decision. No, the exclusion light's on, he's gone. Oh, that's disappointment for Kravchik, who's had a terrific night of speedway. Ends in disappointment there, just got unsettled going in the first turn. And uh, just couldn't quite save it. And uh, this is quite an extraordinary night for that man. His dad's there with him. He's got some decent advice and, there. And, and now all of a sudden he's got more Greg. racing room because there's no rider on gate three. And for Mick Anderson, could he pick up a win here? That would, would be quite a story, wouldn't it? It would be quite a story indeed. Panitsky will be just a touch frustrated. He was away. He's got to do it all again. Prozemski, well, he's got, uh, as long as that motorbike keeps going and he doesn't do anything daft, he's got 16 points guaranteed here. And he'll move on to 36 in total. So uh, riders will make their way around to the start for the second time here. A couple of the Polish boys have just got themselves in trouble. Shostak we saw earlier on, he got himself in a bit of a two and eight there and did a pirouette. He was out. Now we've seen uh, Krasik, uh, something similar. So uh, that's uh, a disappointment for the Polish contingent. They're just down to one representative now. And uh, he happens to be the championship leader. So uh, the three of them will shoot out now for the positions, for the Rostrum positions. And will it be that man? Will he uh, get the better of Panitsky on the inside? Or will Nazar Panitsky reproduce the sort of star he did previously? Well, you'd, uh, you'd think so. He's been... Only yeah, nerves immaculate. will hold him back. It yeah. would only be if he gets a little bit twitchy, tries to anticipate it. That might be a problem. Panitsky on the inside in red. Brzezemski, gate number two in blue. No rider in gate number three. And on the outside is Miko Anderson, who's had quite an extraordinary run through to this stage. Yeah, it's great and he's stuff. going to be on the rostrum uh, here this evening. Yeah, Panitsky's dropped his only point in heat 14. He has looked pretty special tonight, and he's also able to do it from the back. I don't think he'll need to coming off gate one. Here we go then, second time of asking for the final. Green light comes on. Oh, oh Przemski just crept a bit on the star there. And it's Panitsky who hits the front. Anderson's around the outside, he's got pace, he's on the inside. 
Oh, that's tight going into turns three and four. He's pushing on. Mikhail Anderson and Paninski. Paninski just about gets his nose in front at the conclusion of the first lap. Paninski was a touch nervous there. Moved on the start line, but Paninski's away now. Yeah, Mikhail Anderson is a young man. If he'd have just been a little tougher on Paninski, I think he would have been able to make his way through on that opening lap. Tell you what, he's carrying more speed. The bike's going forward. He's going to go past him. Here we go then, Mikel Anderson coming on, Paninski just about, holding firm out in front, what a battle it is in first and second, look at this from Mikel Anderson, what a ride, what a ride round the outside, oh he's got oh, it wrong no. now, oh he's got oh, it, no. oh my goodness, oh. big crash, yeah, big crash, oh, that's that's a shame. Shame. that was a cracking ride, and it looks like Paninski wins, Paninski wins, Concerns for that man, he's okay. He's okay. Oh, he'd ridden his heart out there, Mikel Anderson. I really feel for the young man because that was a superb ride. Well, Nazar Panitsky has been the best man on the night consistently, you've got to say that. But Mikel Anderson, what an effort. He ends up on his backside in the pit gate. And Nazar Panitsky wins the second round of the SGP World Championship here in Riga this evening. Many congratulations to him. Prozemski comes through probably a touch bewildered about what's gone on. He picks up 18 points in second place. And unfortunately for Mikel Anderson, just overdoing it there. The bike got the better of him. Well, we've said it all night, haven't we? How difficult that bike has been to ride. It, it really has. It's had the speed, but it's been difficult to ride. Yeah, he finishes... Well, he didn't finish there, but uh, I'm presuming he will be on the roster. The conclusion to the night. Vanitsky wins the final here in Riga. Victor Przemski coming through in second place. It kind of fell right for him, didn't it? Mm. Mikel Anderson there in third place. And of course, the exclusion to Jakub Kreshik in the initial staging of the final. Good to see that he's OK, because that was an awkward-looking moment yeah. for Mikel Anderson. And uh, a great race was developing there, wasn't it? It was terrific stuff. He'd done everything right. He'd been brave. It, it, it worked out that he was generating enough speed in the dirt, which really hadn't seen much of. Uh, as far as overtaking goes this evening, but he'd worked it out. He's got the bike going faster than Panitsky. You can't take it away from Panitsky, though. All night, he's been quickest on track. He's had quick times. He's been winning races. He dropped one point. He's been making starts. You know, just cannot take it away from the guy. See there, Przemski just takes a second stab at it. The referee could, could have pulled it back. Tapes, you know. No, I don't think so. The referee done the right thing in letting the race go. He's at the back. Mikkel Anderson looked like he was actually going to be able to get up the inside here. If it had been a little bit more forceful and come in maybe a little tight, to just straight line there across the corner. He would have come out in front, but uh, he didn't need to because later on he just worked out that it was the outside that was uh, generating a lot of speed for him. Bike pulling all the time. I tell you what, I don't think I don't want to have been riding it. Uh, the guys in the pits have said, well, we'll give you the speed, but you've got to hang on. And uh, here we see him just getting it wound up and he gets around the outside of Panitsky, who again is fair, gives him the racing room. There, brilliant move. And at this point, all he's got to do now is just pin it down on the curb, ride around the last lap, just lets it get in the dirt. His arms have got tired, the oh. bike's falling, and the fence moves, and he stops very quickly. It's a good job he's a young man. I tell you what, I would not have wanted to be riding it now. No, definitely <laughs> no, not. Passion because time, uh, that you are not in control of your own destiny now. And look how quickly he stops Whoa. because he hits the end of the air fence, doesn't he? Yeah. Tricky moment there. I think he's just got tired. I think he's put so much effort into those four laps, well, three laps, that he's just run out of steam once the bike grabs. But you see the air fence here just moves back, and then he hits the other one almost end on and stops him completely. He's OK, though, and that's good he's news. He was able to get up onto his feet. Dramatic cut. End to the evening, that's for sure. So uh, here is the uh, points for round number two in the SGP2. Panitsky picks up 20 points, Brzezemski 18, Anderson 16, Krasik 14. Uh, we've run through the points previously with Polstad, Pedersen, Henriksen, Shostak. They were the semi-finalists and then the riders um, uh, then on down who didn't make the top eight here this evening. So we'll uh, 
look at the uh, World Championship standings now. It's good news for Viktor Przemski, that's for sure. An eight-point lead now over Nazar Panitsky, who rockets up into second place. Mikhail Anderson in third on 28. Shostak still there on 25 with every chance. But 23 points to Bamba. Polstad likewise. 22 for Hellstrom Banks and Kravchik 20. 20 points available, of course in Torren at the end of the month, but uh, you've got to believe that uh, Viktor Przemski at home at Torren will be uh, in the driving seat. Thank you, and how so there we are. For a what a special features. moment that is for mm. Nazar Panitsky. You know, for him personally, it's a special moment to stand on top of the rostrum, but also what's going on in his homeland as well. I mean, that makes his country proud. Fantastic moment for himself and the Ukraine. It's a, a terrific night of Speedway. And uh, as we uh, leave here, or well, those lads leave here and move on towards Tor, and Viktor Przemski, of course, will be very satisfied with the way it uh, worked out. It was a dramatic conclusion to the final, but uh, nonetheless, it uh, transpires that um, uh, he has an eight-point lead going into Torrent with just uh, one round to go. Yeah, I think he'll be wondering quite how he's leaving here with an eight-point lead. It's been quite a, a mixed night for him, but um, full congratulations to Nezal Panitsky. Fantastic performance on the night. And Mikkel Anderson, youngest rider in the lineup, should be highly proud of his performance. And yeah, absolutely. He's head up high. Sure. Absolutely. So, uh, fantastic uh, night here. NSGP 2 and a nice uh, taster for what's to come tomorrow of course.